Disappointing news from Tallahassee as the Florida State men's basketball team falls to Miami in a very disappointing fashion. For the FSVU, I'm Lauren Vickers alongside Ari Masudi. The Knolls take their loss against the Hurricanes tonight, 65-67. to Aria, the Knolls came out so slow. They started off very slow defensively, couldn't get it together, and it seems like the whole first half they were carried by their bench. Benji Bell, Terrence Mann making things happen for the Knolls, even though they went into a locker room at an 11-point deficit. Yeah, Florida State fell behind 37-26 at halftime. Uh, they, they, they tried really hard. I think it was uh, Malik Beasley, Dwayne Bacon, and XRM combined for just four points total, and that's just not going to do it for you in the first half ever, let alone against a top 15 opponent like Miami is. Um, they're down 11. It's not looking good, but the second half is a different story. Yeah, they come out of the locker room. It seems like the momentum changes. Boris is finishing in the paint, making really good blocks for the Knolls. XRM puts up a lot more points, um, making things happen for the Knolls in the second half, and they actually come back, tie it a few times, and it seems like the Knolls have a chance to win it. Yeah, they really did. They started defending a lot better. Uh, there in the in the second half, they played the two-three zone that, that that really start they started to figure it out in the second half, and they got into transition a little bit, hit a couple of three-point shots. Devin Booker, uh, Jaquez Smith played well in the second half as well. XRM even got some points going early, and Florida State got back into it. They did a good job. The crowd came alive, uh, and, and down there down the stretch, they had a chance to win it. This loss means the Knolls fall six to seven in the ACC below 500. Aria, what does this loss mean for? Florida State's NCAA tournament hopes? Well, it's not good. Um, Florida State's right now squarely on the bubble. Uh, they, they started this week maybe on the right side of the bubble, now probably fall into the wrong side of the bubble, but just barely. They have five games left, um, so they have an opportunity with uh, three of them coming at home. Mm. They have to win those three home games, I think, uh, to stay in the picture. If Florida State can finish, you know, three and two down the stretch, they'll give themselves a shot at dancing in March, but if they don't, it's, it's they may, not, they may need to win you know, two or three games in the ACC tournament uh, to give themselves a chance, but they didn't do themselves any favors tonight. Um, luckily, there's still time. It'll de definitely be something to follow for the rest of their season. Looking up next for the Seminoles, they host Georgia Tech at home on Wednesday at 9 p.m. You can catch them in the Donald L. Tucker Center. Again, for the FSVU, alongside Ari Mastudi, I'm Lauren Vickers. We'll see you next time.